Hi, Vanessa Webb, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator Australia here. Today we are playing with the Queen Bee dies and stamp set, which you'll find in our current mini catalogue. And it's on page 26. It is a standalone bundle. It's not part of a suite, uh, but this card demonstrates how you can mix and match it with other designer series papers and other products you might find in our current annual catalogue. Uh, and yeah, it also demonstrates a couple of, I'm going to be demonstrating a couple of techniques that you can use to create a vintage feel for your cards. Uh, so, um, without further ado, I will get going with um, what I'm going to show you. The other things that I will be using are our um, beautiful designer series paper from the current celebration catalogue. Now, this is still available, but only until Tuesday. So, Tuesday is the day that you will need to have ordered everything that you want from both the celebration brochure as well as from the extras in the current offering which are on my website uh, and a little bit um, further back in on my facebook page um, i will try and pop the links down below so we're going to start off with a old olive card base uh, and i have already pre-cut and pre-scored that um, and it is going to be a portrait card, a portrait orientation card. Um, the designer series paper that I'm using for the background is just cut from that gorgeous Favoured Flowers uh, DSP. Now this is a freebie when you spend $90 during celebration and it won't be available again. So if you really love it, um, if you haven't got any or want to stock up on some before it finishes, um, on Tuesday. If you've got some and you're worried about running out of it, there's still time to place another order. Um, so a $90 order will get you a free pack. Um, it's, it's 12 sheets of double-sided designer series paper. How gorgeous is that? I love the contrast of the, um, the petal pink and the Calypso coral with that green because the green picks up the lovely leaves in that paper. I like the dark background in it too. I think it's really dramatic. Alrighty, so we've got another element that we're going to pop on just as our base for our card. And this is the Old Olive, um, I guess it's a little bit like a grid pattern. So it's one of the planar um, papers in the pack, but you can see how it works really well with the florals and just kind of brings everything uh, to the focal point in the centre of the card, which is where we want it to be. Okay, so I have some pearlized specialty paper here and I am going to just swipe it with my embossing buddy. And I have got that lovely stamp from the Queen Bee stamp set. Um, and it is this one. Absolutely love it. The little heart is very cute, but you don't have to use it with the heart. I'm gonna show you a little technique that you can do that We'll hide the heart away um, and kind of change the tone of the card, I guess, if you like. So we're inking up in Versamark. Uh, so this is our clear sticky ink that uh, we use for embossing. And I will pop, I can't remember where I swiped now. I'm gonna swipe the whole thing. And then I will just stamp it that way uh, so that I can get the whole image in. So you just wanna make sure that transfers really well. And then you'll want to grab the um, one of your embossing trays and your silver embossing powder from the metallics powders and just shake that over and flick it on the other side make sure it's covering the whole image and then that looks good so what i'm going to do is heat that uh, with my heat tool which i've got sitting over here So 
looking good. Now, because we've used the pearlized paper, um, we would have to use Stampin' Blends if we were gonna color that. I'm gonna leave that as is because I love the detail and I love um, just in that simple silver embossing. I think that looks amazing. And plus we're gonna add some extra embellishment onto that B, as I said. So there is a die for this shape and I will place that there. I'm also going to, um, yeah, I'm just gonna run that through. Uh, I'm also going to run through the same um, die with our um, designer series paper behind. So we'll, we'll run it through together because it will cut both at once, which is kind of handy. So we want the two shapes. I'm just going to make sure that I've got this lined up properly. There we go, that's looking pretty good. All right, so I'll just bring in my stamp box, my stamp and cut and emboss machine, and we'll cut that straight out. So I love this little bee. There's so much detail in that stamp, and it does look really nice when you color it, even though we're not going to do that with this card. So many options, right? When you're playing with beautiful stamps and incompatible. So many options for coloring and putting your own spin on something. All right, so there are our two die cut, die cut bees. Oops, I've cut his bottom off there. That's okay, I can fix that. There we go, make it a little bit more pointy. That should be okay. All right, he's going to be slightly different to my other B. I didn't quite line that up, but I'm not going to re-film that because you guys know how to do die cutting already. Okay, so we've got some uh, very vanilla and we've also got some Blackberry Bliss uh, cardstock. I am going to uh, stamp on this one and I'm going to use the little flower that comes from this set. That's this lovely little flower here. Uh, there are some flowers in the dies as well, which are just gorgeous. And obviously they all coordinate really nicely together. So I'm gonna stamp this a couple of times and I may not use the full strength one. I'm just going to see the different strengths and what I might like. I love the Blackberry Bliss because you get lots of impressions out of the one inking and you can just keep stamping and it will um, it will definitely still leave an impression. Um, so I've got the, the corresponding die for this. I'm just gonna pop that there. And I'm also going to cut out my wings. Um, these are gonna overlay on the top of my little pink bee here that I've, my petal pink bee that I've already cut. So we will bring those in again. I'm gonna cut a couple of those flowers out because I'm layering them. And we're creating um, a vintage look by scrunching up the paper. And I'll show you what I mean. You can scrunch our cardstock um, and it creates a sort of like a, um, yeah, a kind of a rough around the edges look to the project because our cardstock is such good quality. Um, even if you tear it and scrunch it, it is still going to hold its shape beautifully. So there's my wings and we're going to cut another little flower out, probably a softer one, I think. And that one's going to go on the top. So I'll run that through again, just one more time. Oops cords dangling. Now I've already pre-cut a large flower for my project and you guys, um, I'll bring that in to show you just what it looks like. Uh, it is one of the dies from, yeah, from the bee, one of the dies from the queen bee set uh, and it is, um, yeah, it is uh one that puts a a bit of a 
I guess it's an embossed look onto, that looks like a piece of metal, doesn't it? But it's actually cut from our silver foil using one of the larger dies, one of the, the larger flower die from the Queen Bee dies. Um, so that's going to coordinate with my embossing powder as well that I've used. Um, I've also got my Take Your Pick tool. I'm going to switch that over to uh, the paper piece piercer, sorry. And this um, will help me just get out all those little bits. I could use my die brush, but that's over on my other table. And I'm too lazy to get up, so I'll just use this. Um, so you want to get all those bits out so that you can see that lovely detail on those on those wings. Just gorgeous. All right, so now we are ready to assemble our card. Um, I am going to, first of all, place my B. Oh, first of all, I'm going to stamp on this little guy. So there is a lovely stamp which um, helps to sort of put a bit of a vintage feel to a background or even an embellishment in this case. Um, and it's got words and splodges. I'm going to grab the Blackberry Bliss and I'll ink it up but stamp it off once before I stamp it a couple of times on my B. So you can see how that's just taken away the plainness. Love it. And this one is going to go on with some dimensionals because I want it sitting just slightly off the card to give it um, even more dimension. So I'm going to pop one, two, three, and four. Okay, now to assemble, um, we've just got one of the bees. There's going to be two all together. So one of the bees is going here. Um, and we're going to adhere the wings just using a couple of glue dots. Maybe one will do. So just behind. And we are going to cover this over. So don't worry if your glue dot is peeping out from behind. That is fine. So this kind of just sits over the top like that. Um, I like how those wings can be bent up and you can see the shadow underneath. That gives it real dimension. Here is our silver foil flower, which we've already pre-cut. And I'm just gonna grab a glue dot for that. And that's just gonna go straight in the middle like that. This is our first bead. Now for my little flowers, um, this is for this bee here. Well, I told you we could cover that heart up. So um, I'm going to scrunch up these little flowers that were stamped couple times on uh, the very vanilla cardstock just to rough them up a little bit. You kind of want the paper to start to break, break up and um, the fibres yeah, start to kind of pull apart so that uh, you've got more of a, yeah, a sort of a soft around the edges look. Um, and then you're going to layer these two on top of each other. The, the, the top one's scrunched up a little bit smaller than the bottom. So you can see those. And that's going to go straight in the middle of our bee to cover over that heart. Um, as I said, you don't need to use the heart. There is a very cute little heart uh, die, a bit like the crown. So you could even put a heart in the middle of a crown or something like that. If you were, maybe you're doing an Alice in Wonderland theme. Um, you could do the Queen of Hearts. You could, yeah, you could have a lot of fun with that. Okay, so that's my little bee. Oh, and I forgot. Let me just peel this up very gently. I forgot to pop my little bow down. So let me just tie this. This is from the, the three color twine in um, uh, in one of the suites in the, in the mini catalog. Um, it comes in Garden Green, uh, Bermuda Bay, and also Pumpkin Pie, I think. But this is the the garden green. I uh, know we're not using garden green. There is a little bit of garden green though in the leaves, I believe. There's um, pepper zazz, old olive and garden. So I've got a couple of different greens and they will all blend together. And then that goes on the top. So there you go. Our little heart is well, well and truly hidden now. Um, I'm going to apply just a couple more glue dots underneath just so that's nice and secure. Using my paper piercer again and scrunching up the edges a little bit more. All right, so I'm going to switch over to my spatula now with my Take Your Pick tool and I'm going to apply 
one little pearl, this is our iridescent pearls, to the center of this flower here. So there is my B complete. And again, we will grab some dimensionals to pop behind and that will sit up on the card. So four of those, one, two, three, and four. And we're going to just pop that straight down there. So they're sort of evenly spaced from the top and bottom. And there is our card. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create that. I'll bring in the original card, uh, which is pretty much exactly the same as the one that I just made. Um, I hope that you enjoyed watching me make that. If you're inspired to make some vintage cards of your own, can I recommend this stamp set? Uh, the Queen Bee stamp set and, and dies comes as a 10% off bundle. It is 87.25 Australian. Um, at the moment, you can maybe add a glue or um, some dimensionals, and that will be enough for you to get the designer series paper, the favored flowers, for free, but only until Tuesday the 28th of February 2023. Um, the Queen Bee bundle will be still available um, throughout the mini catalogue uh, until May, so you'll have a little bit more time to get that. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.